Let's play Zombie Situation! By Mad, apparently. Mad.com with sheeps. Sheeps! Yes, I know sheeps isn't the plural. Sheep, shut up. Developed by Elliot Pace. Royalty free music by Pond5.com. Sound effects by Freesound.org. Overlay textures by Moyang.com. It's a game. It's got zombies. I'm home. Sarah, are you here? Jack went to the door to pick up some groceries. Sarah. We interrupt this broadcast for an urgent message. Reports are coming back that the town of Grinrock is under attack by flesh eating creatures. We urge everyone to stay inside and lock all doors. What? Is this some kind of joke? You shoot stuff. Headshots do extra damage. Do do do. Headshots generally aren't necessary. In my experience so far. We're in. Shoot. Okay. What? No. I just freaking messed up. Just calm down, game. Calm down. You gotta shoot stuff, and they're walking very slowly toward you. So zombies, blah, blah, blah. Shoot them. They die. The basic gameplay is pretty. Yeah, you know, easy to grasp here. Shoot stuff. And you get stuff. Yay! We found a money. This really is no joke. Gotta call Sarah. Calling Sarah. Sarah, are you safe? Our town is under attack by these green things. They're probably not zombies. That's ridiculous. I know I'm trapped here at the grocery store. Don't forget that your shotgun is inside the house. Got it. Whatever you do, don't. Sarah? Dun dun dun. We're gonna upgrade the normal gun. The pistol has infinite ammo. Shotgun does not. And the shotgun is crazy in limited range. It's like... It's a little less than half the screen, I want to say. About a third. Anyway, not that useful right now. It's more useful when there's tougher enemies. For now, you kind of hope that stuff doesn't get too close. But you know what? We'll, we'll show off the shotgun. Annoying thing is you can't quite depend on its bullet spread. But, you know, it's an easy way to burn through enemies. As you can see, the... the Shots can be really shoddy. The pattern, I mean. I have to get to the grocery store before it's too late. Fast skater zombies. And skater zombies also take a little more damage. I've played a few levels of this game. I'll I'll let you know when I get to the part I haven't gone past. Shouldn't matter too much though. Um. I wanted to note, it is kind of interesting that it lets you play slightly easier. Like the, I like that it's like 10% easier instead of just dumping you all the way down on easy. That's sort of a nice way to do optional dynamic difficulty. You know, most games would just offer you easy, which in this game is a lot easier. Like, I think these guys died in like one hit when I tried it on easy before. So it's significantly easier. But we're playing on normal now. We found a toolbox! We got a wall! And we got monies! We're just, gonna, we're just gonna upgrade our normal gun for now. So we can do this crap. We can be cheap as hell. For the tougher zombies, you do want to headshot them, like the skater dudes. Actually, not sure at this point if it matters yet. Uh, you get a little more damage. It's not like... I'm not sure if it's even double the amount. Maybe it's double the damage? I don't know. It's not like super crazy instant kill damage, unfortunately. Not that it's very hard to get a headshot. Yeah, the first few levels you pretty much get through just by pressing up and down on the D-pad and holding the space bar, which is exactly what I'm currently doing. Oh, the shotgun's not terrible. You can burn through some of the zombies pretty quick with it. 
And the problem with the shotgun is waiting for them to get all the way up here. And now that we have the wall, we won't die in one shot. You know. And even though I keep not using it... Unknown pills! I always eat unknown pills. Excellent. I don't know how much money those give you. Hey Jack, it's Fred. Have you heard the news? Yeah, green rocks under attack by cre green creatures. I guess it's green. They are zombies. Over time, they've become more savage and powerful. You have to get stronger every level. But don't worry, I've come prepared for this moment, because I'm crazy! Oh, crazy! Sarah's trapped at the grocery store. I need to get to her. Okay, meet me at the gun shop once the coast is clear. Let's just keep on upgrading our gun there. Flying zombie! There's new zombies pretty much every level. I think. And the, the flying zombies don't seem to take damage while they're falling down. Like, you can see their hit effect, but they don't... They seem to take the same amount of hits regardless of whether you've hit them on their way down. Hey, hey! Got that out. The flying zombies are the most dangerous ones at the moment because they can spawn, you know, so close to the wall, so far away from you that you can't actually shoot them before they hurt the wall. But that's why we have the wall now. So. Letting the zombies get all the way up isn't a huge problem as long as we kill them real quick. Oh. Hey. And see, I do recommend you use your guns at the start here because they, they're a lot stronger than your pistol and your ammo refills at the end of every level so you may as well use your ammo while you have it. Did I kill her while she was falling? I gotta test the shotgun on the flying ones. I'm not sure if they are invincible or not. It just doesn't seem like I'm killing them. Maybe they just take reduced damage while they're falling. I'm not sure about that. But we'll find out. Come here, lady. Oh, nope. Definitely not killable in the air. Which is dumb. She got like friggin' bonus points for shooting him out of the air. Points for style. Shooting stuff. Average Thursday night. Yeah. Come on. Get over here. Monies! The coast is clear. I would make a dash for it. That's a very fast dash. Jack over here. What's happening? What is happening, brother? We have ourselves a zombie situation. <laughs> he said the name of the game. Oh my gosh, guys. Do you think the government <laughs> What? Of course the government's involved. Who cares? We have to get to Sarah. Okay, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. I have a couple weapons of my own. Definitely give him a sniper or a rifle, because you don't want stuff to get close enough. You need the thing anyway. Upgrading upgrades the <clears throat> damage and ammo, so... Um, the Uzi's not very good. I'll show you why. Uh, come on, zombies. It does go all the way to the end of the screen, unlike the shotgun, but it's got a ridiculous spread and not all that much ammo. It's fast, but... I mean, well, the spread isn't too ridiculous, but it's significant enough. And if you run out of ammo, you do not automatically switch, so listen for that out of ammo clicky sound. The fat guys take a few hits with your pistol to kill. They'll take just two shots with your shotgun at this point. If that. I think a headshot may kill him instantly. I'm not sure. Get over here. I need to do science with you. I already hit that one before, so I'm not sure. Come here. Oh yeah, the the sniper rifle is like crazy strong, by the way. Instant kills the fat guys. So that's why you want to have the, sh the sniper rifle. Um. 
I'm good. We're gonna let's wait till the next weapon to upgrade anything. Not sure when we get the next weapon. I just assume it'll be soonish. See, now that we have a couple of guns, using the pistol is less attractive because you should have enough ammo to mess around with the better guns. And the sniper guy does not target... I think he targets the closest enemy. He doesn't target... Oh no, he does not target the closest enemy. I don't know. He does not target the strongest one, which I wish he would. Because the fat guy... He takes down the fat guy as like a champ. Aren't you gonna shoot? Oh. Yeah, as you can see, we have a pretty good amount of shotgun ammo now. Not that we were ever too short on shotgun ammo. Uzi ammo runs out like nothing. Shotgun... You can use for a fair amount of the fight. If not all of it. Yay! Assault rifle. That was the song of the soul's assault rifle. I will take it, thank you. Wait. Let's see if it sucks. I can be cautiously optimistic here. Oh god, this does not have much ammo at all. Look at that. Well, it's strong. But yeah. We're gonna stick to upgrading the shotgun, I guess. Main reason I like the shotgun. Good damage, good uh, ammo. And once you hit this point in the game, it doesn't actually matter that much that you're letting enemies hit the... get close enough to shoot them with a shotgun, because you can't really keep them at bay that far at bay, anyway. This so uh, I don't know if it's gonna be worth using the rifle or the yeah assault rifle. I do not like the flying zombies because they block your friggin' shots and they don't actually take damage. Yeah, yeah. Yoink. Monies. Um. Hmm. More shotgun, actually. Thank you. Not sure how much more ammo you get. I'm just gonna play it safe and stick with upgrading the shotgun, because I use it mostly. At this point, I'm regretting the money I put into the pistol. Um, probably should go for the shotgun right away. Because the pistol's just not very effective at, against these guys. And the Uzi runs out of ammo crazy quick. Am I shooting? I think I'm shooting more bullets now. I think I used to shoot four, and now I'm shooting seven? More than four. So, yeah, if this increases spread, that would actually increase the accuracy too, so that's really nice. And I definitely recommend the shotgun then. Hurry up. See, this would be good if it didn't run out of ammo like nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll try it out before we spend money on it. We have enough weapons and supplies for now. We should keep moving. Yeah. Uh-oh. What was that sound? It's sneaky! He's a sneaky little creeper. Whoa, these guys are sneaky. Okay, sniper rifle kinda sucks. I figured it'd be like a one-hit kill. I mean, it is against those, but... No, maybe just gotta headshot these guys. The sneaky ones. Whatever, we're gonna stick with our trusty shotgun here. Well, may as well waste the rest of our ammo, actually. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think I will upgrade this a bit. Because it does... it is pretty dang good, but it just runs out of ammo so dang fast. 
Also, I don't know how many levels there are. We're at battle 11. I'll probably take a break after this one. But there's a bunch more guns to get, so I know we're not more than halfway through. Let me get over here. Yeah, sniper rifle's not that great, unless I guess it probably just requires more upgrades. Well, let's upgrade the shotgun, because it's awesome. Right, one more round. Yeah, yeah. Not really all that sneaky. I prefer this guy than the, uh... Hey. Than the, uh... What do you call it? The flying ones. It's way less annoying because he doesn't block your frickin' shots. At this point, I think I'm just gonna save up money to see what the Mac shotgun is. Ah, crap. I'm not sure if the last level does any, like, special upgrade. Some games do that. I don't know if this is one of them. I hope so, because that would be sweet. But we'll go ahead and find out. Wait, did I just kill a flying one in midair? Made my shotgun strong enough to do that now? Well, that one landed. Just waste some ammo here. Okay, back to the shotgun. No. Okay. Are we making less money now? Incoming call. Jack, where are you? Are you safe? Sarah, I found Fred. We are the town bridge coming to get you. No, go back. The bridge is too dangerous. The police are here and... Jack, look. The police left behind some equipment. Aww. Big number. Ooh. That sounds good. But wait. I can't upgrade that anymore. Next time, we'll see what the freezer gun does.